Hello everyone, this is video about how to add the box populi mods on top of Civilization 5 Brave New World which I have got here, but I believe it will work also with God and Kings and also with the plain original vanilla Civilization 5 because it's just a bunch of mods on end of the day and it will make the game feel like it's completely new but it's still based on Civilization 5. So all you need is uh, your internet browser and Google of course and write in Google Vox Populi download. From search results you want to go to forumsifanatic.com community patch how to install and it will bring you to a page which will explain in details how to do it. However, the easiest way is to go and download automatic installer. So just click this link that will bring you to Mega NZ. And uh, Vox Popular Installer is just uh, one file, it has got 94, nearly 94 megabytes. So left click to select it, right click to bring the menu, download and standard download. Now Mega NZ doesn't have very good uploads, that means it will take you quite a while to download it. However, we can wait. Once it's done, the window will pop up, so save the file and it will be either here or in your downloads. So I'll click uh, uh, on my file, my file explorer, go to downloads and start uh, the exe file. Uh, if this window pop up, don't worry, it's not virus, just click more info and run anyway. And uh, you can start installing it. So click uh, I accept agreement, next, next. It will be always installed to this directory. So to see users, your name, documents, my games, uh, Sidmar Civilization 5 mods. If this is not the case, do it the case. Otherwise you might end up with some uh, errors and uh, missing textures and so on. It have to go in this, this structure, di structure directory. So click next. Uh, the folder already exists, uh, I don't care, so clear, uh, install it there. And here uh, it's asked you if you want to install Vox Populi Enhanced User Interface. It's the top bar in game which is showing you how much gold, science, pattern you, you have, etc. Uh, but uh, it's more in details, it's so much useful than the original one. So I don't know how you, but I do want it. So click next. I don't want to create start menu folder, uh, next and install. After it's done, you are pretty much good to go. So I'll close those windows uh, and just wait until it's done. Finish and run the game in full screen. Wait until it loads. In main menu click mods and it's all here. It's currently disabled so you have to manually enable it. All 7 or 8 of it. And now if you click next the game will reconfigure and uh, throw you in a new menu where you can uh, just again single player and uh, play the game. But before that, I'll show you how to get more mods and they are very useful. So just click this get mods or go to Windows, start uh, your Steam and click on community workshop and then in the search box write Sid Meier Civilization 5. I already got it by clicking get mods. And in get mods you can get JFDs Civilizations. Uh, sorry, JFDs, I put JDFs, JFDs. And I like Frederick because he is very good for war. Feel free to pause the video and uh, read the specifications. So I'll subscribe for that. Then I like another civilization, it's Papal States. They are very good for spreading religion and generally winning by tourism. But you can win by war or domination if you want. Uh, as well, but it just doesn't feel uh, very right to win as a Pope uh, by domination. And I like uh, Victoria because she has got uh, very good bonuses for her Navy. So I'll, I'll subscribe for that as well. And then I got uh, three more very good uh, mods. I'll just remove these JFDs. And uh, first of them is 
historical religions and all what it does is uh, it's this one it's a giving you more options to choose uh, from religions like you got originally seven religions and now this adds more of them more icons and uh, more names that's all it does and it feels very good and very very different because uh, seven, uh, seven uh, religions are starting to be kind of the same all the time and you want to have some vari variety so that's uh, historical religions uh, then I like also uh, Bonders Expanded and it does exactly what you think it does it just adds so many more wonders to the game that you will not be able to build all of them uh, the reason why I have this it's one it's very nice and second sometimes you or often you build uh, the great library and someone just finish it one turn before you and it so it's so annoying and last thing is more pantheons pantheons i believe i uh spelled it correctly okay i didn't so more uh pant oh yeah it's here actually sorry and it all it does it's uh, kind of uh, modified the original uh, pantheons and add those ones which feels also very good right so i'll subscribe for that and now if i click here or shift tab back to civilization you can see it will be it was added down here so just enable it i'll double check if everything is enabled and click next so now the game is reconfiguring and after a while you end up in this menu so click single player setup game you can choose from all the usual civilization plus your frederick and down here will be papal states and also victoria here i'll go for let's say frederick but i am not planning to to play really where are you my guy here and then uh, there are map. There is new map. It's normally hidden uh, uh, between additional maps and community, and it's very good map generator. I'll show you it in advanced setup. You can. I like to play on small world, let's say, but uh, especially with three billion year world age, which gives you more uh, mountains rather than flat terrain. I like to turn on circumnavigation because so I can go around the world. And now you get land shapes, normal or blocky, and very good are strings. It gives you more islands and peninsulas and so on. It's not like very round. Uh, then you can add uh, start resources both. Uh, I like to add both strategic and extra bonus. Then you can decide how much bonus, luxury and strategic density you have. Uh, that means if, if, if let's say strategic it's coal if, if it is sparse there might be only two with normal six uh, deposits around the world and with abundant 20. so i like to have abundant because i don't like to end up without coal of course and then you can uh, decide how big is the strategic uh, uh, deposit size it might be small so you got 20 uh, deposits but small means like two coals or normal five coals and large let's say eight coals so i like to have large deposit and a lot of them now th there are in a, a vox populi even systems which i don't like uh, very much but it's basically about let's say on the beginning of game you you see a star and you as a king or ruler have to decide what will happen Th there is option one that uh, people will remember this and it will add you i don't know 50 culture or people will pray for it and since then every uh, i don't know monument will have plus one faith and so on uh, but there are good and bad events so uh, uh it's up to you how you decide so now i will uh make a no tech brokering no tech trading i'll make transparent diplomacy and uh, raging barbarians i want also barbarians to give me uh, some uh, experience points and i think that's it so uh, oh yeah no espionage i hate that so i'll just start the game a and play a little bit 
to show you the new features, but that will be in new video.